going on guys welcome back to a new video and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get 1.7.10 animations in minecraft 1.20.4 in lunar client real quick before we get into anything uh these mods could potentially trigger uh your your servers like anti-cheat and could potentially get you banned so keep that in mind before you do anything you know because you don't want to check your uh, your favorite servers you know rules and what's allowed and whatnot just in case you don't get banned uh, another thing is these this is pretty laggy and or not laggy but pretty bulky for right now because Luna client isn't like feather client they haven't had like a, a proper like modding thing yet uh so this is pretty this is still pretty new uh but it it, it works at least from what i've used so just keep those two in mind and uh that's pretty much it so let's get into it in the description there's a link make sure you download this it sends you to my google drive thing oops and uh make sure you download this and uh yeah Okay, once you have our the lunar mods uh, file, go ahead and open lunar client. Um, you know, make sure you're logged in. Uh, first, we want to go to settings, then go to advanced mode. Make sure that's on, and go back in here. Click on this. Click on mod packs, and we're going to select MCC Island for lunar client. Uh, if this is your first time doing anything in this like menu uh, Select this and it should say install and play uh, Make sure you do that before you do anything or else like you're not gonna be able to do anything But after you do that come back here so if you did that uh, And now it should just be launch game You should be able to click on this and you should be able to active uh, go in this menu uh, I already added the mods, but we'll get into that so by default there should be like a few selection of mods and don't worry about that just go in here and delete all of them leave the dependence the leave the dependencies folder uh because that's important we need that we're not gonna edit it but we just need it or else like nothing works so it's kind of goofy uh these should be the default mods all of these just leave those here and then we're gonna grab our lunar mods folder. We're gonna go in here, grab our lunar mods, mo mo the, the, the lunar mods folder. We're gonna select all these, throw them in here, and it should be good. There we go. Close that. Everything is installed. Uh, if you find any like duplicates or anything, or like if you don't want to like if there's certain mods you don't want like ever shot. You could just, you know, enable it or disable it. Don't matter. But yeah. Then you should be able to press launch game. And it should open. Remember, it is still fairly new. This is still fairly new. And also, this thing is pretty buggy. So, it could crash your game a few times. I've had a little bit of trouble with it. Sometimes it crashes. But most of the time, it doesn't. It's usually pretty stable. Um... But we have more steps to go after this, so make sure you still watch because we are going to do settings next. Now that we are in Lunar Client, we want to go into Minecraft settings, go to controls, keybinds, and we're going to find two things. Nostalgia tweaks, we're just going to bind this to whatever I have it to minus and uh, cool key mod, we need this one too. Bind it to whatever is not overlapping. And then we just need to hop in a just a single player world okay we are in our single player world so what we're going to do is we're going to press the button that you bind the uh the nostalgia tweaks to and we're going to go to config menus go to manage toggle all tweaks change all tweaks to disable ignore all filters and apply tweaks toggle all tweaks okay then we just close out of this and press save. Boom. You now saved. This is just so we reset everything in case there is a mod in here that could potentially trigger something. This isn't like a, a foolproof thing to protect you, but it's just in case, you know, there is something there. 
uh, that I am not aware of. I just disable everything and we can just get into the main part. Next, we're going to go to, let's start with eye candy. Go to item candy and then press old item handle or yeah, old item, item handle. Press that, select enable. Then we can press that. Go to swing. Go to global speeds, attack swing speeds, and using swing speeds. Set both of these to six. Then go to animation, S item animation, select all of these. Then go to arm animation. If you want to change like sway or whatever, you can uh, go to arm swing and then select old swing. Next, go to player animation, select old backwards walking, old sneaking, and old creative sneaking. Now press save. So now, when we swing, we'll have the old swinging animation and also none of your items will have, you know, that delay when you equip them. But as you can see, the indicator is still there and uh, your shield is still there but let's say we want to like have the old sword blocking that's what the cool key mod is for so go ahead and select whatever keybind or press whatever keybind opens your cookie mod menu we're going to select tool blocking swing and use then go to miscellaneous fix attack cooldown desync Fix local player handling. Save and quit. So now, when we use our shield, we now block with our sword. And also, the blocking doesn't get interrupted, kind of like 1.7. Yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see in uh, third person, uh, when you're not using the shield, you can still see it, but when someone blocks, it will block with the sword. This also works with axes, so you can like, uh, uh, Axe hit, I guess. I don't know. Sword hit, block hit with an axe. Pretty cool. Works with netherite, netherite axes. Uh, you can also do this, I guess. Food, potions, bows have this like animation. Um, it doesn't like do this when you like uh when like hit the floor, but it does it in the air. So I, I don't know. You're not gonna really be swinging at the floor though. So gonna be like in combat like this and if you really want to get the full effect you can turn on programmer art and i'm going to turn on this pack because this adds a few extra details but then you can really get the full you know thing of uh 1.7 now you can have like all the old textures too i would say if you want the 1.8 animations and not the 1.7 animations so let's start with the cookie mod this time go to cookie mod turn off swing and use save and quit go to nostalgia tweaks config menu animation go to uh arm animation arm swing turn that off go to eye candy go to old item handling and turn that off Press save. So now we have the 1.8 animations. Works with pretty much every item. This too. Pretty sick. Alright, so we're on PvP Legacy and uh, let's actually test these out in a game. As you can see, we got our animations. Looks pretty nice. Nobody's playing this right now. Uh, let's see if we can get into just a basic sword duel so we can see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so we're ready for a game. Uh, as you can see, got the, got the epic swinging. Let's fight this guy. Ooh. Oh, I'm No, I'm getting clapped. I'm getting clapped. No, I'm so bad. I do not play 1.9. All right, let's fight this guy again. All right. Ooh. 
No. Oh. 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 Yes. Yes. Crit. Get it back. Little combo. I'm kind of getting good hits. Oh, no. Nah, he got me. He got me. I'm dead. Alright. Let's get this guy one more time. I'm, <laughs> this is not... A, yeah, although these animations look good, definitely won't make you a better player. Oh. Come on. Ooh, that was a good hit. Nice crit. I die. I'm gonna die. Uh, I'm getting railed. I'm, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm getting good. I'm getting some good hits. Yo, yo. No, I missed. Got him. Oh. No. 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 Yeah, that's pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoy these uh, mods i hope you get set up and uh have fun with your new animations see ya